good morning girls today we will be doing the last part of our gas chromatography that is applications of gas chromatography which are very very important because of its wide usage and wide applications in different industries so it can be used in food analysis or you know in food industries and it is used in monitoring quality control it's used in paint industry petrochemical industry research forensic sciences etc and also the main important point is in monitoring the pollutants so now let us see its usage in food analysis or in how gc is utilized in the analysis of food in food industry what are its application so girls basically <clears throat> gas chromatography has been adopted in a wide number of industries and its in applications are growing day by day and it can be analyzed it can be used in the analysis of volatile compounds which are thermally stable so the food industry relies on this technique of gas chromatography for several applications for both quantitative as well as qualitative so what is quantitative quantitative means suppose if i want to know uh, you know amount of something or concentration of something i already know the component i just want to know the quantity or concentration of that but what is qualitative i don't know the component i just want to know the you know type of constituent or type of uh, component present in it you know this is how much is amount is there and qualitative means what is there i don't know what is there i want to analyze what is there in it so actually <clears throat> it also you know analyzes the food additives what are food additives food additives are nothing but you are you know different coloring agents and uh, you know the flavoring agents all those are food additives so you can analyze food additives by you know using this gas chromatography you know uh, our uh, you know rda has given approval for only few uh, you know our uh, a government or our nutritics association or dietetics association they have given approval for few colors but you know in many candies and chocolates and syrups you can see variety of colors you know we don't know whether they are you know actual colors uh, which are edible or they are mixing some chemicals and they are bringing that change uh, you know color change the natural or they are artificially produced whether they are you know harmful or they have undesired effect all those you know that you know components of this food additives can be analyzed by the uh, gas chromatography and also <clears throat> you know uh, you can analyze the pesticides you can analyze the pesticides environmental pollutants and also toxins in food and also you even you can check if if there is any adulteration of food samples you know sometimes you know for example buffaloes are they are being injected with hormones you know some they are also getting you know you can check the level of you know quality of milk it is is it contaminated with hormones or they having any excess of proteins in them so all those adulterations or alleged you know 
in during the packaging of milk also they are being mixed with some coloring agents or some milk powder all those things you know adulteration of food samples for example milk can be easily analyzed by gas chromatography girls gas chromatography is very very vital to the food industry for ensuring the safety of the food products and also preventing the contaminated products from becoming available for consumption so this technique is also essential to ensure the it ensures the quality of the food product it ensures the quality of the food product being produced and this is highly favored technique because of its ease of use and cost effectiveness so in food industry gc plays a very very vital role in the analysis of food additives checking for the adulteration checking for the contaminants pesticides naturally occurring toxins you know everything can be analyzed and this technique ensures the quality of food product and it is easily used easily applied in food industries for its ease of use and cost effectiveness mm. now coming to the second application you know applications of gc in petrochemical industry so all the petrochemicals you know petrol diesel kerosene they are all organic they are all volatile so this is the best technique to analyze the petrochemical products from their you know processing formation everything it can be easily analyzed by using gas chromatography and you know the contamination of petrol with kerosene can be detected easily by gc and also the contamination of petrol or mixing of lead with petrol can be detected by using this gas chromatography so gas chromatography is applied in petrochemical industry widely because of its ease of use and easy application to find out the contaminants of the petroleum and petroleum products now paint industry so the paints are nothing but they are polymers so the uh, you know a pure you know the quality of paint and also you know the contamination of paint with lead can be assessed contamination of paint with lead can also be assessed by using gas chromatography now the next one is quality control so manufacturing re relies on gas chromatography for quality control companies producing you know cards chemicals pharmaceuticals you know are are the you know industries you know which are using or which are applying this gas chromatography Day, on their day to day basis the pharmaceutical industry especially utilizes gas chromatography to help them produce pure products in large quantities so qc is playing a big role in pharmaceutical industry to you know to produce pure products in large quantity and also this method is used to you know ensure the purity of the produced material and 
it also removes the inconsistencies in the pharmaceutical products that means you know it helps in purifying the samples removing the impurities if there are anything there and this industry also uses gas chromatography to analyze the components to check for trace contaminants you know it is also useful in checking for contamination you know thus it ensures the purity of the product form and this this is you this industry also uses uh, you know the uh, it uses gas chromatography to ensure that whatever product or medicine is coming out of them is extremely pure and free of contamination and and now uh, at present there is also growth you know growing use of this method in the pharmaceutical industry to separate chiral compounds even you know what is a chiral compound the carbon with four different groups so it is helpful in separating the chiral compounds also jc is helpful in separating the chiral compounds in pharma hubs and studies also have shown that the you know interiors of you know new automobiles you know all your cars bikes they are releasing a significant amount of volatile organic compounds that is vocs so for this reason gas chromatography has been adopted by the automobile industries to identify and assess the chemicals that are released into the air uh, inside the car from its carpets door lines you know seat covers and other interior materials so that you know it is able to assess the contaminants or pollutants which are coming out from the new vehicles that are being made and you know scientists are aiming to bring down the levels of this harmful toxins released into the interiors of the new vehicles and you know all the producers of chemicals manufacturers of chemicals they are also relying heavily on this gas chromatography you know in the production of emulsifiers solvents you know to ensure whatever they are producing they are of good quality and free of contaminants so gc is very very important in case of you know maintaining the quality control levels in case of all your automobile hubs or chemical industries pharma labs etc the next application of our gas chromatography is in research so gc is you know it forms a fundamental basis for many research areas it you know it helps in the analysis of all your meteorites natural products and also scientists that utilizing this gas chromatography to analyze the composition of the meteorites you know which are falling on the earth and it is also providing the information you know vital important information regarding the nature of life outside the earth and you know <clears throat> it is you know it, it utilized in many studies that are being conducted with gas chromatography to determine the presence of ribose in meteorites you know a ribose is nothing but the building block of rna ribonucleic acid so it is helpful in the detection of composition of meteorites and also it is you know giving us you know they are taking the help of gc to reveal the details of the primitive life on the earth and life outside the earth and also they are conducting they are taking the help of gc to determine the you know presence of ribose on meteorites you know all those can be detected so gc is playing a vital role and it is giving a lot of help to the budding researchers who are doing the research work on meteorites and also who are you know doing a, a new line of research to find out the life outside the earth and also the primitive life on the earth now the next branch where it plays a vital role again is forensics so 
gas chromatography has been used in uh, forensic field from many years it is used to determine the circumstances of a person's death such as you know whether they are injected injected with any poison or they have consumed any drugs or they did they take any alcohol prior to the uh, you know uh, uh, death and also scientists they take the samples of blood and fibers from the crime scene and they analyze them using gas chromatography and also girls it you can analyze the blood alcohol analysis you can do blood alcohol analysis by taking the help of gas chromatography you know uh, you can check actually uh, how much amount of alcohol levels are there at the time of death by taking a person's blood sample you can analyze it so gc is playing a vital role in forensics how you know you can check the persons you know you can uh, estimate the circumstances which led to the death of a person by you know whether they have they have been ingested with poison or they have consumed drugs or whether they have taken any alcohol and also what is the amount or the level of alcohol in the blood of person at the time of death can be analyzed by using gas chromatography and then now one more an uh, application is measuring the air pollution so this is a very very important uh, application because you can analyze the environmental samples and the level of pollution in the environment can be analyzed here air pollution is becoming an you know big threat in recent years you know rapid industrialization has led to more people living in cities urbanization has also you know increased the population and also it has given us many challenges and many people they are being exposed to the vehicles pollutants or you know vehicular emissions and there is a you know numerous uh, in, you know increase or spike in the uh, people who are suffering with this you know uh, respiratory diseases bronchitis irritation in the eyes and also there is you know increase in the uh, number of persons suffering with cancer and all so why is it you know because they are being exposed to pollutants continuously while they are traveling they are working so all this air pollutants can be analyzed by using gas chromatography so <clears throat> you can monitor the harmful you can monitor the level of harmful pollutants in air and you can tell the you know sorry you can tell the amount of air pollution and also pollution levels contaminant levels pollutant levels in different areas by taking the help of gc you can analyze pollutants like formaldehyde ddt etc so all this uh, analysis can be done by taking the help of gas chromatography